Good morning, class. We are now on lesson 5 of quarter 4. Determining the conditions under which lines and segments are parallel or perpendicular. We have studied already about this, but let's give emphasis on def the definition and the characteristics of parallel lines and perpendicular lines. How do we know that it is a parallel or perpendicular lines? So this theorems will remind us. Okay, let's focus with parallelism. Two lines are parallel if and only if they are coplanar and they do not intersect. When we say coplanar, these are lines on the same plane. And when we say intersect, they meet at a certain point. So we have here the figure, two lines, x and y. They do not meet and they, do, they are in the same plane. They are cut by, by the line t, which is called a transversal. So we can say that line x is parallel with line y. See this? This is the symbol for parallelism. Line x and y are parallel with one another. So this is read as line x is parallel with line y. Number two, a line that intersects two or more lines at different points is called a transversal. When, a parallel, when parallel lines is cut by a transversal, as we can see here, line M is parallel with line N. Here is line M and here is line N, cut by a transversal line T. There are angles formed. The angles formed by the transversal with the two other lines are called exterior angles and interior angles. Exterior angles means angles outside the parallel lines. So they are angle 1, angle 2. They are outside the parallel lines M and N. So also we have angle 7 and 8. So exterior angles are angle 1, 2, 7, and 8. And the opposite of our exterior angles are the interior angles. Interior angles are angles inside the parallel lines. Here are parallel lines and the lines or the angles inside them are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6. Let's continue. The pairs of angles formed by the transversal with the other two lines are also called corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, same side interior angles, and same side exterior angles. Take note that these angles are paired. Pares sila. We have here again, line M is parallel with line N cut by transversal T. Corresponding angles. We have angles 1 and 5. Angles 3 and 7. Angles 2 and 6. And angles 4 and 8. Pares sila. Tawag sa ilang corresponding angles. Ang isa exterior, ang isa interior. In relation to their positions, in the parallel lines. Again, let me repeat the corresponding angles. 1 and 5, 3 and 7, 2 and 4, and 4 and 8. Next, the alternate interior angles. By the way, corresponding angles are congruent. Also, alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate in the sense that one angle is in the other side of the transversal, the other is also on the other side, but they are congruent and they are inside the parallel lines. Alternate interior angles are angle 3 and 6 and angle 4 and 5. Again, let me repeat that. Angle 3 and 6 and angle 4 and 5. They are congruent. They measure the same. Next, we have alternate exterior angles. These are angles outside the parallel lines. That's why we call them exterior angles. But they are also congruent. The other one is on the other side of the transversal. And the other one is also on the other side. We have angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 7. Let me repeat that. Alternate exterior angles are angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 7. They are congruent. Next, same side interior angles. Same side interior angles are angles inside the parallel lines on the same side of the transversal. And they are supplementary. When we say supplementary, supplementary angles measure equally 
or equal to 180 degrees. So when we add them, the total or sum is 180 degrees. We have angles 3 and 5. When we add the measurements of angle 3 and 5, they are equal to 180 degrees. Another one is angles 4 and 6. So we have two pairs. We have angles 3 and 5, angles 4 and 6. And the last, same side exterior angles. They are outside the parallel lines but are on the same side of the transversal. Okay, they are also supplementary. We have angles 1 and 7 and angles 2 and 8. Again, let me repeat the same side exterior angles. We have angles 1 and 7, angles 2 and 8. Okay, those are for parallel lines. Next, let's go to perpendicularity. How do we know that lines are perpendicular? Two intersecting lines that form right angles are said to be perpendicular. Segments and rays can also be perpendicular. Okay, let's have these pictures. Can you see that? When two lines meet and form right angles or a right angle, then they are called perpendicular. The blue boxes there indicate 90 degrees or a right angle. A perpendicular bisector of a segment is a line or array or another segment that is perpendicular to the segment and intersects the segment at its midpoint. Let us see this picture. We can say that line PY is a perpendicular bisector of line XZ because it divided line XZ into two equal parts. So we call line PY as a perpendicular bisector and we can see here that they form right angles. Perpendicular lines na sila, bisector pa siya. Next, we can say that XZ, line XZ is perpendicular to line PY. This is the symbol for perpendicularity. Line XZ is perpendicular to line PY. The distance between two parallel lines is the perpendicular distance between one of the lines and any point on the other line. Let's have this picture. The perpendicular distance between the parallel lines. Here are the parallel lines and this is the perpendicular distance. This is the distance between two parallel lines. Okay. Okay, let us remember these theorems. If two lines are perpendicular to each other, then they form four right angles. We have there, line M is perpendicular to line N. Then we can conclude that angles 1, 2, 3, and 4 are right angles. If the angles in a linear pair are congruent, then the lines containing their sides are perpendicular. Angles 1 and 2 form a linear pair. When we add them, their sum is 180 degrees, and they form a line, a straight line. And then, angle 1 is 90 degrees marked by the blue box. So, they are congruent. Then, we can say that line 1, the vertical line, is perpendicular to line 2, the horizontal line. If two angles are adjacent and complementary, the non-common sides are perpendicular. We have here angle CAR. This is the angle CAR. CAR and angle EAR. They are complementary because they have a sum of 90 degrees. These two angles when added is equal to 90 degrees marked by the blue box. Their non-common side are ray. AC and ray AE. They are called perpendicular lines because they meet at a certain point which is A and they form a right angle. Remember to watch this video again so that you can understand. Keep on repeating and watch uh, repeating on watching this video so that you can answer these four numbers. Tell whether each pair of lines are parallel or perpendicular. Pili lang kamo kung ano answer niyo, parallel or perpendicular. Thank you very much.